Hello Capricorn, welcome to your February 2018 astrology reading with me Anushka and this is for Capricorn Rising Sun and Moon. This is the second time I've had to do this video because yours, Aquarius's and Pisces videos all just went AWOL when I went to upload them and I've searched and searched so this is why it's a little bit late so I apologise, I was on time <laughs> but these things happen. Anyway, so this month we don't have a full moon. Uh, we're coming off the back of some very powerful lunar energy, that total lunar eclipse, which was also a blue blood moon. And that for you would have happened in your 8th house on the 31st of January. And I don't know about you guys, but I certainly woke up the next day on the 1st of February feeling a sense of... Um, shift in energy and feeling the need to clean and clear out things so hopefully on some level you felt that energy and you felt that shift in that eighth house with shared resources of, of your psychology of things that are hidden you might have felt like um a little bit you might be feeling a little less burdened as we go into this month which would be really lovely we've got jupiter up there in your 11th house and he's bringing you blessings in terms of the groups that you align yourself with and your dreams, your goals, your wishes, your peer groups, networking, the love you receive from others. And, um, you know, the 11th house is also one of your money houses. So you're being you're being given blessings in this area. And he makes some really positive aspects as well to the personal planets this month. Beware of going overboard and um, perhaps overindulging um, on the, let me just have a little look, as Venus makes a square to Jupiter and you know that's very much about having a good time and um, enjoying ourselves especially with groups and with friends and that kind of thing but um, oh yeah on the fourth just be be careful of perhaps spending overspending because Venus is there in your second house and perhaps you're just going to have too much of a good time and then you just don't want to wake up the next day with a, a sore head and too much of an empty, you know, wallet. So just be aware of that. But other than that, he's making some really positive aspects. And this could see you linking up with people who are perhaps quite different um, to your normal peer group. Or people who are somehow, people who can provide you with opportunities to help your money grow. So this could be linking up with people and, and starting projects with them. Or this could be you know, um, meeting a certain tribe of people, getting involved with a cause, and it also blessing you financially and self-esteem wise as well. Um, so this is really positive energy for this month. So if you can collaborate with people, definitely do it, because Jupiter is in that, that house of collaboration and group efforts. And I think that you'd be very blessed if you tap into that energy and if you, if you use that. Um, Saturn and Pluto are in your first house, are in your sign, Saturn's happy, you know, he's your ruling planet, he's in your sign. And this mixed with Jupiter being the 11th house, I get the sense that you are being called to step into a position of authority and power in your life. Now, this could mean that some of you recently became parents for the first time, um, maybe you recently got promoted, maybe you're expecting to get promoted, um, maybe there is a role that you want to go for that carries a lot more responsibility than something you've ever done before. Um, this is a great time for it because you are being empowered, you've been transformed, you've gone through a lot of transformative experiences on a very personal level and in terms of understanding who you are. And then Saturn came into your sign and said, right, okay, now let's give, you've done a lot of growth, you've had a lot of learning, now let's give you structure and authority because now, after all this growth, after all this transformation you've been going through, you are now you are now equipped to be the authority of your own life so <clears throat> this should see you becoming in some area of life some sort of authority whether that's at work whether that's at home um, whether it's becoming an authority on your life and yourself if you've ever been I don't know if you've been very oppressed by say your parents or other people in your life who you kind of try to tell you what to do or try to um, have too much of a say in what you do now you become the authority and um, Saturn is really working for you in that respect and I see really I see some really good opportunities coming up in your in terms of communication through emails through your local community this month um, 
because Saturn is sextiling um, the Sun, Mercury, Venus, um, and this is as we go on to the month, so we're looking at, where are we? This is going on all throughout the month. And so this says to me that you're getting opportunities, um, you're getting opportunities through people in your community, people who you see on a day-to-day -day basis through travel, through short distance travel, through writing, through emails, you know, expect there to be um, communication that comes to you that has a, a form of solidarity to it. So it could be opportunities coming to you. You know how sometimes we get offered opportunities and <clears throat> they never really follow through. Someone says something to us, oh yeah, you know, it would be lovely to have you join us on that project and it never really happens. And you can kind of tell it's wishy-washy, like Ugh. this isn't that. This is opportunities coming to you that have, that have some foundation, that have a firm basis. So I would go for them because you have the opportunity to to increase your income, to increase your finances, your self-esteem, your your abundance um, this month, most certainly. So as we start the month, we've got the personal plans in your second house. So your money's on your mind. You're putting your efforts into gaining um, material resources. And it's about self-esteem as well. So this is where the focus in. And then as we move through the month, um, on the 10th, Venus then moves into that third house. So this is where all the planets start to go. On the 10th, Venus moves in there. On the 18th, Sun and Mercury move into the third house. So then you're going to be very busy communicating, very busy running about um, automobiles and anything mechanical could come to, into play now and feature more now. If you do need to buy a car, maybe this would be a, it's a decent time to do one. If you do, actually, I would say you want to be doing that around anything mechanical or... Um, technological that you want to purchase let me tell you a good day for doing that around the 15th because Venus which represents what we value um, Venus in your third house would be sextiling Saturn and Saturn's about longevity so if you do want to buy something that's going to that one you're going to you're going to love something you're going to like um, but also it's going to last you a long time this is a good time to do that so I would recommend that um, so the planets, like I said, the personal planets move into your third house and this will see you communicating a lot more. This will see um, you being a lot more active in your community. This may see you writing, speaking, learning, um, a lot of those activities having more to do with your siblings and stuff like that. So this is, this is good positive energy and like I said, there are opportunities here, whether it's somebody offering you something, whether it's you going out to buy a car. Um, whatever it is, whether it's you enrolling on a course, these things that you do, anything third house related um, that you do this month has the support of Saturn and actually has the has longevity attached to it and has the ability to carry you through um, for quite some time, which I really, really like for you. Um, right, is there anything else I particularly want to discuss? I'm sure there is. I'm sure I can't remember what I really said in the last video. Probably similar things, but um, really, um, you know, Capricorn, this is a time where I really feel like you should just be going for it, going for it, and whatever it is you need to be an authority in, whatever it is you want to be an authority in, just go for it. Um, Mars is in your twelfth house. I will mention that, which might see your energy levels a little bit low, but I don't see that really being too much of a problem this month. I feel like things are just going to flow along naturally, kind of by themselves. You've got a new moon partial solar eclipse, of course, which I completely forgot to mention, on the 15th in your second house. So this brings fresh energy to your area of resources, abundance, what you love what, and value, um, self-esteem. So you see, there is a lot of opportunity here for you to up your financial status for you to be making money for new opportunity so really i mean i've got to be honest capricorn i don't have a lot to say this month other than keep doing what you're doing be ambitious this month you can afford to be take opportunities um the only thing i'd watch out for is when mercury moves into pisces on the 18th Communication is going to be a little bit more wishy-washy. People aren't going to be as clear. We're going to be coming from intuition. We're going to be coming from empathy, and it's going to be more about compassionate and emotional, um, compassionate and emotional 
relating. So what I would say is go for it, you know, go um, be ambitious, go for what it is you want. If you want to, after the 18th, communicate on a people on a level that they'll understand, make sure you're appealing to their emotions, not from a manipulative, manipulative point of view, but from a point of view of wanting to connect with people. Make sure that you're coming from empathy and compassion and you're appealing to people's emotions and that empathy mixed with ambition and that's a very, very powerful thing because people think that if we're ambitious or if we want to get to the top, we've got to be cutthroat and not care about people. But in actual fact, there are a lot of videos on YouTube, there are a lot of people who, you know, psychologists and, you know, experts in human behaviour um, who will tell you that actually empathy is one of the key traits of being a strong leader. So maybe, you know, this is a really good time to think about how you can work empathy and compassion into your role as a leader. One other thing that I did want to mention with Venus um, moving into Pisces, obviously we've got Neptune in Pisces and um, it's been there for quite some time now. On the 21st we have an aspect which I think is really beautiful and it's Venus conjunct Neptune. Now this can be very creative energy, this can be very gone with the wind, swept up in emotions, romance energy, but more so than anything, what I like about it is this is, this is the energy of forgiveness. So especially if there have been any feuds, any disagreements, any tension between you and a sibling, I would say more than anything, between you and a sibling, now would be an incredible time to forgive them and find a sense of forgiveness. Um, I really like this energy for all of us. We have the ability on this day and around this day to really come from a place of compassion, to be able to forgive, to let go, to be understanding, to understand that, you know what, well, they're human too. And if that means self-forgiveness, you know, do the same thing. But I really like this day for forgiveness. I really like this day for compassion and healing. So if there have been any tips with anyone in your neighborhood, in your community, where, you know, anyone, but especially in your neighborhood, your community, or your siblings, this might be a really good day to just reach out and say, and just, you know, make peace and, um, and reach out and, and forgive, you know. So I really, really like this month, Capricorn. We're all moving forward, we're all making progress, and, so, and you are especially. Um, yeah, have a wonderful month. Now, I'm doing tarot readings for the first time this month. I haven't gotten around to doing yours yet because of the fact that this video has had to be redone, but soon um, you will have a tarot reading from, from me in the next, I'd say, three, four days for this month. So um, if you'd like to go and check that out when it's ready, I would be very grateful and would love to know your comments and your thoughts. So far I'm having a really, really positive response to the ones that I have done, so um, it's exciting, I love it. <laughs> have a wonderful month Capricorn, take care, much love, bye bye.